Okay, if I only work Monday and I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and you change the schedule on a day that I'm not working, wouldn't it be common sense that you call me and let me know that you changed the schedule? It is your girl Haley back with another story time. And this time it is going to be about my first job and my worst job. So as soon as I turned 16, I don't know what it was, but I wanted to get a job so bad. Literally on my 16th birthday, I had my mom drive me around to see if I could find places that would hire me. I went to like a tanning salon, um, a whole bunch of like retail stores, just because I wanted a job. Don't ask me why, I guess it was just the thought of me turning 16 and one step closer to being 18 and being independent. I felt like once I had my own money, I mean, I could buy whatever I wanted without having to ask my mom for money. So I had gotten zero, a big fat zero. I turned in all these applications and no one called me back for an interview. I feel like it was because like I had just turned 16 and I feel like a lot of people don't hire people who aren't 16 um, because they don't have a lot of work experience. But my feel is if you don't have any work experience, how are you going to get the experience? So I had first originally applied at Brahms and I did not want to work there. I put in my application and I talked to the manager. I kid you not, but his teeth were green. Green, like seaweed, like algae, like ugh. ugh. It literally gives me shivers just thinking about it. It looked like he hadn't brushed his teeth since 1952. Okay, so um, he was like asking me, on my work history I didn't have any work history so he was like um I see you don't have any work history and I'm like no I haven't had a job yet and he was like well have you like do you babysit anything like around those sorts like mow the lawn anything like that and I was like well I do babysit and I have babysat and he's like well put that down as like work history so he was like telling me Oh, I'm going to get, I have interviews next week. So I thought like, I felt really good. Like I felt like I was going to get it. And not only that, but Brahms hires at 14. So I thought I had did pretty good. So like two weeks passed, I still didn't like hear from them. And I was kind of glad because I really didn't want to work there. So then I, I applied at Pizza Hut. So... I applied at Pizza Hut and this is when I had my Monroe pierced and I had my interview, everything went fine. Um, it was right before Christmas and he said that he was going to have all of his interviews done um, before Christmas and you would know if you got the job um, like a couple of days after Christmas. So literally a couple of days passed and I called two days after the day that he said that he was going to be calling back for interviews. And so, is this still recording? Okay, sorry. I can't really see here, so I couldn't see if it was recording still. So, it was two days after he said that he was going to call back for interviews. And I had called. They just said that, like, he was still reviewing applications. I called a week later. He said that he was still the hiring manager was still reviewing applications so at this time like I was like well I didn't get that job so I literally get a call um like three weeks after he said that he was gonna um call people to see if they got the job and he said hi this is I'm gonna give him a different name hi this is pizza since it was pizza hut this is Pizza calling from Pizza Hut, and I was just wanting to know if you wanted to come in for a second interview. So I told my mom, and my mom was like, well, yeah, you pretty much got the job. 
So I go in for my second interview and at this time my Monroe I had to take it out because it had closed up in the middle of me changing my piercing and he came for a second interview and I pretty much got the job. That day I got my uniform, the god awful hideous uniform. I got that inner I got that uniform and then he told me I had to come back a couple days later and I started like compute oh no I had to go to orientation I had to get all this stuff for orientation I had to have all this stuff for orientation orientation was like two hours long literally the worst orientation of my life it was literally so boring okay so then after that so during my second interview while I was getting my uniform he told me the date of orientation and then he told me um my like official first day of when I was going to like start doing my computer work so my first day is fine the computer wasn't working so literally they just told me how to answer the phone and then I did all my stuff all my stuff so I feel like I really didn't get trained I was a waitress and I had one full day of someone telling me and what pissed me off is the girl that was training me used me to get tips. She was like, oh, well, this is so-and-so and it's her first day and I'm going to be training her. She got $5 tips, $10 tips, $20 tips. I kid you not. She told me how much how much money she got in tips that night and she goes oh well I can't give it to you usually we would split it but I can't give it to you because it's your first date and technically you're not entitled to them I wanted to do this and walk out literally okay so um I start waitressing I had got no other training besides answering the phone and um waitressing so one day i'm at work and the guy's like he's so rude to me i don't know why but he's like can you start he said something under his breath and i really didn't know what he said and i didn't want to be like hey can you repeat that so i just said okay well, I guess he had told me, like, stuff was, like, piling out of the oven. No one ever told me how to box anything. No one ever told me how to look at the receipts to make sure stuff gets in the right order or anything like that. And so, like, it keeps piling. And he's like, I thought I told you to take the stuff out of the oven. And I was like, well, I didn't understand you, first of all. And second of all, I've never been trained. So he gets this girl to train me and all that. So I do that. And um, the sec, this, okay, so that was the first incident of how like this all started. The second incident was um, I didn't know that I was going to be the only waitress. So when I first got the job, I was like, oh, this is going to be an easy job. It's like in like a small little town. I've never seen it busy. It's so like literally I'm just going to be standing around getting paid. <laughs> Spoiled brat problems. But no, this pizza hut was busier than heck. Sundays, I was literally, I had to work a double no matter what. I was the opening server and then I got um, a break in between. And sometimes it wasn't even a break. Like I would be off the clock at three and then I would have to come back at four but some people wouldn't even leave until 3 30 and I would have to be back at four so and so I was literally the only waitress okay so I mostly only worked the weekends so I could be the only waitress and I remember I had left one day I checked the schedule and I wasn't supposed to work. I can't remember the day. I'm just going to say I wasn't supposed to work on Wednesday. And so that Wednesday rolls around. Mind you, I'm still in school. So I'm like, yes, I don't have work. I go home, put my hands behind my back, just, you know, flipping through the channels. I get this phone call and it's from work. But I didn't think I worked. So I thought they were going to call me in. So I pressed that ignore button so fast. And... So, like, they just didn't, like, they, he didn't even leave a voicemail to say, like, hey, you were supposed to work today. 
So then the next day, I thought I was supposed to be off like three days in a row. And the next day he calls, I didn't answer because I thought he was calling me in. Well, the third day he called, I finally answered because I was like, okay, this is really weird. So he was like, I don't even know what to use. I'm just going to use my conditioner bottle. He's like, I'm like, hello. He's like, is this Haley? I'm like, this is her. And he goes, you know, you're supposed to work on Wednesday. And I said, um, no, I checked the schedule before I was off. And, um, before like my shift was over i think my shift was supposed to be over on monday and i was off tuesday i thought i was off tuesday wednesday thursday friday and it had to be work saturday sunday and then all next week i worked and i was like no i checked the schedule on monday and it said that i was off like pretty much this whole week and he goes you know what this mfer said he said i changed the schedule on tuesday and I said, well, I didn't work. And he goes, all he says is, okay, well, make sure you pay a better, you make sure you pay closer attention to the schedule next time. Okay. If I only work Monday and I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and you change the schedule on a day that I'm not working, wouldn't it be common sense that you call me and let me know that you changed the schedule and I'm supposed to work on a day that you originally gave me off. Maybe that's just me, but my mind was blown. So after that, like I didn't like working there. Like I didn't want to work there. I like, I just hated it. The people there were ugly. My mom had a take me to work and pick me up so I never wore it was like winter time I never wore a coat because I was literally outside for two seconds and these people thought that like my mom didn't take care of me so they gave me a coat that ringed of cigarette smoke so what blew off what blew like all this up was it was like a Sunday or a day that I had to work a double it was the weekend and I got off at three and I had to come back at like 4.30 or 5. And literally it was severe tornado watch. We were under a tornado watch. Like it was so bad that they were telling us that we need to take cover because like tornadoes were just like making random pop-ups. So I was over at my friend's house and my friend was like, my friend's mom was like, well, I don't really want to take you back to work because it's bad. It was like hailing outside. So I text my manager and I'm like, hey, um, I'm going to be a few minutes late because my mom doesn't want to get out and we're under tornado watch. You're telling us to get in our basements and take cover. He texts us back and says, well, you could leave a few minutes early and be on time. So I just like, I just ignored it. So I was supposed to be there at 4, 4.15 rolls around and he calls me and I was busy doing something so I wasn't paying attention to my phone when I realized that he called and he left the ugliest voicemail talking about, um, well the other people showed up to their shift and all these people are coming in and we don't have a server here and you need to get here on time. So I called my mom and my mom was already okay with me saying this because she wouldn't have wanted to get out anyway. Like if she would have picked me up, it would have been the same outcome. So, um, cause at first I, after he texted me, what he texted me about leaving early, I was like, well, I don't really want to get fired. Like I need my job. I have trying to get a car. She was like, he can't fire you for the weather. So I'm like, okay. So I called my mom after I listened to the voicemail and she was like so pissed off. She was like, okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. So after he told me to leave early, I called my mom and my mom was like, well, ask them if they even have like tornado shelter. And he goes, yes, you go in the free, we have tornado precautions. You go in the freeze, you go in the freezer, etc." So then that's when I just like stopped texting him because he was being so nasty. And so then he calls me, I listen to the voicemail and I call my mom and my mom was like, just call him back. 
and he answers the phone and I'm like this is Haley I said I wasn't going to be in I was going to be late he goes it's 15 minutes past you were supposed to be here like I said all these customers are coming in all the other waitresses showed up and all this stuff all the other waitresses waitresses with an s like as in there's more than one no because I was the only one on the schedule so I was just like my mom doesn't want to get out like if you want to be rude she's sitting right here if you want to talk to her and he goes you know what Haley if you're not going to even come in don't even worry about it I have your shifts covered and I said so are you firing me and he goes well if you don't come in yes so I'm like okay so I didn't come in I told my mom my mom ended up calling corporate which ended up getting passed on to his boss his boss ended up calling my mom saying that like that was wrong of him he shouldn't have fired me I still have my job if I want it he's not gonna get fired all this other stuff like she called him and he said I wasn't a good worker I never showed up and I was like she never showed up but she got because I got this certificate for being like a good employee and she was like yeah I told him that she got a certificate and from like corporate I got this certificate from corporate which doesn't is mind-blowing again so she's like um if she was such a bad worker then why didn't you tell me and I would have had to talk with her daughter pretty much putting him in his place but she also told my mom that he wasn't getting fired so I'm not really sure and that was like the worst job of my life I literally went in clocked in just to clock out I didn't talk to anyone I had no friends every everyone was so weird it was just the most I hated working there and then I got my job where I loved until like the last few months and I also quit there um but I turned in my uniform that was like two years ago like like three years ago um I've been in there a couple times and I haven't seen him like when I went to go turn in my uniform like I was just hoping that he would be there like oh you got in trouble and now you're out of your only server like shouldn't have treated me like crap but that is the end of the video if you guys like it or liked it give it a thumbs up make sure you share with all your friends if you like my story time check my playlist I have all my story time videos in my playlist and if you want to see more videos hit that subscribe button and as always thank you guys so much for subscribing to me watching my youtube channel and watching me grow love you guys and i'll see you on the flip side